My Memories of Owen Dune by Kathleen Plunkett, Nee Pryor, Mullock Moore, and later of Era on Bomboy. My father John, Johnny Pryor, worked at Owen Dune from an early age. Ten, I would say. He worked along with three other young boys, attending to the cattle, fathering, putting in crop, milking, digging spuds, grain, and getting very little money. They got very little money, but Daddy said that money would go a long way. He could give some of it to his mother, have a smoke, and even go to a dance. They got fed their meals there. People who worked there got fed in a different room than the family, of course. Daddy was born in 1898, so this would have been in the early 1900s. He was very happy to work there, as he said, Mrs. Johnson was a very good woman to work for. She was not Catholic, but she was very religious, and she always made sure the working boys went to Mass, Communion, etc. She would say, never miss your religion, no matter what you work at. The boys would make up the time they took off for religious occasions, even though they would not be asked to. When my father was married and living in Mullockmore with us, his family, Mrs. Johnston would sometimes visit. She would bring apples, beauty of bath, to the family. I remember Mrs. Johnston was a very deaf woman. She could read your lips to work out what you were saying. She was a small thin person and she would cycle to Bonn on her bicycle. She had a basket at the front of her bicycle and would carry her shopping or the apples in it. She was nice to people and people were nice to her. They had an orchard that was out of this world. They had everything in it. Peaches, apples, pears, and they were lovely. She would always give you something and she would be delighted when you loved it. She would bring us over to Owen Dune House and show us around. I remember peacock feather and the heads of stuffed animals and stuffed birds, which her father had killed in India. They had them all hanging around the place. There was a room with walls covered in these lads. It was a wonderland to go in there. She would tell me about everything and which each bird came from. Mrs. Johnson had a sister and a brother, I think. The brother was killed in war. Mrs. Johnson didn't have children, but nephews came to visit her, and they rode their bicycles to Bonn to go to the post office and the shops. Mrs. Johnson loved horses. She was a wonderful lady to ride horses, which was unusual at the time for a girl. Mrs. Johnson told us when she was young The children of the house loved to go out for a walk with the nanny when she went to the spring for water. They called into a neighbour house and would have simple foods, butter on bread, bread and jam. They loved it. They were not supposed to eat between meals and would not let on to their mother when they got home.